we're going to talk about international trade and investment, and I think there's no. It, it's a, it's a fascinating time to uh, to talk about uh, these issues. Uh, free trade, as you know, is uh, is a polarizing uh, issue more than ever in many in many countries. Uh, for many people, trade uh, is not synonymous of uh, prosperity, uh, and we talked about that earlier this morning a little bit when we talked about uh, the election of President Trump, uh, when we talked about Brexit, when we talked about um, uh, populism. Uh, I, uh, I saw this uh, statistic from, uh, uh, from the uh, International Labour Organization saying that uh, uh, last year, 30% of workers, which means around 170 million, uh, were employed by exporting firms in 32 countries. But this number is, uh, is, is less than before the financial crisis. So that's uh, interesting to note. Uh, so we're going to talk about uh, President Trump, of course, about protectionism, about China, uh, maybe also about emerging markets. Uh, after all, we're, we're here in a country uh, for which uh, international trade is, is really key. Uh, it's very important for Morocco to uh, uh, be involved in, uh, in international trade and it's, it's very important for the development of this country. Uh, I would like to start with, uh, um, if, if the presentation is, uh, is working, which I, I hope, I would like to start with, with you, Marcus. Uh, you're uh, um, executive vi vice president of the Peterson Institute for International Economics in, in Washington. It's a very well-known uh, think tank in Washington, and uh, I give you the floor.